the Senior Maths Challenge 2021 Grade Boundaries are out and in this video I will tell you what score you needed to get to get a, a bronze, silver and gold certificate and how to qualify for the Kangaroo and the BMO one rounds. I'll tell you what they are later in the video if you don't know. I will talk a bit about how the scoring for the Senior Maths Challenge works as well. So even if you haven't got your results from school yet, um, you could go to the UKMT website. They've put the past paper there for this year already with the solutions. So if you remember uh, your answers, you could work out what score you've got and then work out what certificate you would get from that. So the boundaries for the 2021 Senior Maths Challenge were uh, to get a bronze certificate, you needed 49 points, a silver 66 points and a gold uh, required 85 uh, points as your score or higher. And if you've got 85 or more, you qualify for the kangaroo uh, and for the BMO round one, 108 or more. I'll say a couple of more things about what those mean um, in a second. Before I do, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who tried out the course. Get ready for the Senior Maths Challenge. If you didn't see it, it's a free course where you can work through last year's SMC paper with video hints and solutions. And it's a great way to do a bit of practice for the Senior Maths Challenge. Uh, over the last year, I've also been making courses like that for the Junior Maths Challenge and the Intermediate Maths Challenge uh, for the Junior, Kangaroo and Olympiad. So if you're taking this again next year, have a look at one of those or share these with uh, any friends or siblings or anyone else um, that you know who has uh, an interest in this or is going to be taking these con competitions in the future. Please send them to your teachers as well. It really helps me uh, get these uh, out there. So thank you again for trying that out. Thank you for those of you who have written reviews of the course and written to me and told me uh, that it was useful. Um, I really love hearing all of that. And um, so that's really great to see. I've also been making a course this year. Uh, it's totally finished now uh, called Get Ready for A-Level Maths. And if you're in year 11 or 12 at the moment, you might like to look at that or, or younger. Um, it's aimed at looking at the hardest parts of GCSE and IGCSE maths, really mastering the, the toughest questions and working it then into uh, A-Level Math, doing some of the pure maths from the first half of, of AS in particular, things like logarithms, differentiation, some hard trig, sequences and series, lots of things covered in there. And I've made up a lot of my own questions in there uh, with some sort of maths challenge style questions thrown in as well. So it is also a great preparation um, for A-level maths, but a little bit for the senior maths challenge. Uh, as well so uh, it's got loads of free teaching videos in there so I really hope that you will have a look at that there is an upgrade to buy the worksheets and the video solutions to those as well but it's a really substantial free course with about 70 uh, teaching videos in there as well okay so back to the SMC 2021 really well done if you've done well enough to get a certificate if not um, you know the main thing is to enjoy solving these problems and to tackle interesting uh, questions so hopefully uh, you got something out of it perhaps if you're in year 11 or 12 you can have another go at it next year uh, as well you can still enter this up till year 13 in the uk uh, or equivalent years um, in other places so up to about age uh, 18. so let's just say a little bit about what those scores mean so um if you don't know the way the senior math challenge is scored is a bit different from some of the other challenges you start with 25 points and you actually lose a mark every time you get something wrong so actually in theory you could get zero but only if you uh, got every question wrong which actually be quite hard to do you'd have to really um, do well to avoid all of the right answers even if you're you know if you're just guessing you'd probably get some of them right but you could get zero if you actually got every single uh, question actually wrong not just missing them out um, and you get four marks then for every uh, question that you get right so for example to get 49 the bronze certificate you'd have got your 20 you'd have your 25 free marks and another 24 would get you to 49 so that would just be six correct answers so long as you didn't get any others wrong uh, of course if you got a few wrong you might need seven correct answers uh, similarly so 66 is 41 above the, the 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 25 to start with so you need about 11 um correct answers and for the gold uh, that would be 60 extra marks, so that would be about 15 correct answers. So interestingly in this paper you can get uh, a gold this year and qualify for the kangaroo by just doing questions 1 to 15 and not doing anything beyond that, as long as you got them all right uh, and didn't make any uh, mistakes at all and didn't lose any points. Um, anyway, so well done if you've done that. Um, you know, the way they work out the grade boundaries is that they give certificates to the top uh, two-thirds of people that enter the competition and uh, then they do them in a ratio of 1 to 2 to 3. So let's say 66% of people get certificates overall, um, a ratio of 1 to 2 to 3, that's 6 parts, so that means 1 sixth of the 66% get gold certificates, so that's about 11%, 2 sixths get a silver, that's about 22% of people, and then about 33% of people get a bronze certificate. But of course only 
you know, interested and uh, enthusiastic mathematicians tend to enter the Senior Maths Challenge, so uh, it's right that a lot of people get certificates, you know, if you're getting any certificate here, you've done very well, um, uh, and you're very good at, at maths at that age group. Um, and of course it's aimed at years 12 and 13, but some people do this earlier on as well, year 11 or year 10 even sometimes, and can sometimes uh, do well. So. Uh, I also mentioned there's the follow-on rounds, the Kangaroo and the Olympiad rounds. So they've made it again this year so that everyone who's got a gold certificate is eligible for the Kangaroo round. That is another chance for you to show uh, your um, skills in maths and uh, it's a follow-on round. Um, about, they say, 6,000 people are invited uh, to, to uh, take the Kangaroo. I don't know if it's exactly that or roughly. Um, and then 1,000 are selected for the BMO1. Now, it might be that you've got a really, really good score and you haven't qualified for BMO1, even though you're in that 1,000. And that would just be because of eligibility conditions. So BMO, um, the British Mathematical Olympiad, is a bit different from the other math maths uh, challenges because um, although it's just a a math challenge in itself, it's also uh, the start of selecting people for the British maths team who will compete against uh, other countries in the International Mathematical Olympiad. Um, and so to be involved in the BMO competitions and to be eligible for that, uh, you do need to be eligible to be in the uh, British team. So there are some nationality restrictions and and things like that, possibly age restrictions on that, on that level. I'm not totally sure. I'd have to have to check if you can be in that team at any age or if you have to be above a certain age. Anyway, certainly, um, certainly, uh, you know, if you're anywhere near that level, you've done very well. And of course, you can still look at the BMA papers and have a go at them. Um, and the kangaroo paper in itself is a very challenging um, follow-on round to have a go at. So well done if you're anywhere um, uh, around those levels. Of course, it's great to get certificates in these competitions, but the main thing is just to have had a go at some interesting math problems to have solved, uh, or at least tried to have solved some uh, challenging problems to have thought about them and to have got better at maths as a result of it. So I really hope you did that. Uh, if you took the uh, Get Ready for the Senior Maths Challenge course, I really hope that helped. Do put in the comments below how you've done in the Senior Maths Challenge this year, if you use that course, whether it helped you, uh, and do share those other courses, the Junior, Intermediate and Senior uh, maths challenge courses with anyone else you know uh, who might be taking these uh, challenges uh, this year or in the future. Uh, so that's enough for me for now. I um, hope you're all doing well and I will see you soon.